Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to STEM with Chantel. Today, we're going to be looking at the science behind golf. So there's quite a few factors that can influence golf, and we will look through a number of those. So the first thing that we will look at is the swing. So in order to achieve the best swing, two things must occur. So you must have a good swing speed, and you must also allow the wrists to rotate freely. You can see in this picture down here at the bottom the path of the golf club, and you can see the importance of allowing the wrists to move freely. And that's going to help hit the ball squarely. And it's also important to note the follow through, that even after you hit the ball, it's still important to continue the swing. So each golf club has something called a sweet spot. So this is the spot that yields optimal results. It is the spot that has the greatest energy transfer between the club and the ball. Because each club is different, you'll want to practice to find the sweet spot of each club. The club is also going to have a loft angle. Now this is the angle at which the face lies in comparison to the shaft, as you can see in this picture on the right. A higher angle is going to mean that there's going to be more trajectory. Once the ball is in the air, aerodynamics can affect it. So airflow impacts the ball as it flies through the air. Forces such as lift and drag can affect the flight path and speed. The texture of the golf ball also plays an important role. Golf balls have dimples in order to reduce drag. The dimples create a layer of air around the ball and allow for smoother airflow. The golf balls of the past used to be completely flat and that actually created more drag. The material is also important. Nowadays, golf balls are typically manufactured with rubber. If the golf ball is softer, it gives more control, whereas if the golf ball is harder, it will travel faster. It is also important to note that golf balls of the past used to be made with other materials. They even used to be handmade. And since they were handmade, they weren't perfectly round, and that could affect how the ball moves through the air and may skew it in one direction. With putting, it is probably one of the most important parts of the game. When you're putting, it's important to aim at a point beyond the hole. And additionally, the putter needs to be square with the ball so that the ball doesn't angle in one direction. Finally, the topography of the course plays a role in the game. So the topography of the course will determine how the ball should be directed. Natural or man-made slopes provide a challenge to players and can make the game more entertaining than a simple flat course. So it's important to note the angle and the topography. That way you can envision where the ball may go based on the slopes. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see more STEM with Chantel videos, check out this playlist. If you want to know when JCPL puts out more content, click the subscribe button and the notification bell.